am I here? Why am I in this world? I almost feel like I was looking for a reason to die. You guys have sold over 30 million records. Yoshiki is a musical idol. Different level of rock star. If those guys were born in America, they might be the biggest band in the world. After my father died, my mother bought me a drum set. And instead of breaking things, I started banging drums. Welcome to Bella TV. We are behind the scenes today at our arts and culture cover shoot featuring legendary rock star and composer Yoshiki. We are in Manhattan right now. It is the midst of fashion week and we can't wait to take you behind the scenes as we talk about his new music documentary, Yoshiki Under the Sky. everyone welcome to bella tv my name is jennifer and we are at an exciting behind the scenes shoot for our arts and culture issue i am joined by yoshiki yoshiki is a legendary composer drummer pianist rock band leader film director and the list goes on yoshiki thank you so much for joining us thanks so much for having me of course of course so all of the hats that you wear and all of the years that you've been in the music industry. Can you tell our viewers how this all started for you? Well, um, I started playing classical piano. I mean, started learning classical piano when I was four years old. My parents, got, you know, bought me a piano. Also, I started playing drums when I was 10 years old or so. Wow. So my mother bought me a drum set. Started composing somewhere around the same time, classical music. Wow. Amazing, and you've been in the industry ever since. And what we're here to talk about, most exciting, is your directorial, directorial debut in uh, Yoshiki Under the Sky, and you're working with megastars like The Chainsmokers. Tell us a little bit about this film, this music documentary, and the artists that you're with. So during the COVID, we decided to you know, do something very positive to lighten up the world. So I started, you know, asking around, like uh, uh, my friends, a musician, you know, can we do something together? Then some of the name, some of the amazing name, uh, artists just agree to do it. Mm. That's great. It's been uh, very, was not easy, <laughs> <laughs> especially a, a lot of restriction and everything. Mm -hmm. Also. Um, we did it kind of internationally. Mm -hmm. I mean, main shoot shoot took a place in Hollywood, but you know, people from Germany or Japan, China, um, yeah. So a lot of different, con you know, continent mm -hmm. joined the show. Yeah. Right. And how did you decide who you'd work with in this film? Um, I want I want this kind of project to be very eclectic, so it doesn't have to be rock, doesn't have to be like a EDM. Just, you know, can be anything, like a combination of classical music, rock, EDM, you know. Yeah, it's like a very eclectic. Yeah. Mm. But at the same time, uh, all, the art, all the art is a very edgy. So. Mm. Okay. And over your 30 plus years in the industry, you've worked with some of the biggest names in music, like Bono and the Beatles. Is there a moment that stands out for you or a collaboration that's one of your favorites? Um, I worked with Queen, yeah, um, yeah, Queen is one of my favorite bands. I also worked with Kiss, um, well, I didn't work with Beatles, I wish I could, <laughs> um, so, hmm, well, every single artist I worked with, you know, was very like, amazing experience. I worked with Beatles producer, George Martin. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we made a classical album together. 
Okay. And in addition to music, obviously, you are in the fashion industry as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Actually, I was born in a kimono business family. My parents used to run kimono business. It's like, you know, Japanese kimono. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kind of very traditional. But I made that kimono into more rock and roll version. Then I debuted in a fashion, fashion week in Tokyo, like over 10 years ago. Okay. So since then I've been doing this. The recently and I announced I'm gonna be doing the uh, called Maison Yoshiki Paris. Mm -hmm. I launched a brand in Paris um, this year. So um, we are planning on doing the uh, fashion week in Paris, fashion week in Paris very soon. So that's gonna be more ready to wear, not the kimono version, but yeah. So I also make, you know, uh, so in France, I make also champagne. Mm -hmm. I have my own brand, champagne. By Bayushik Champagne uh, with Pomery. Also, I make, I'm making glasses with a company called Baccarat okay. in Fra France. Wow. So, fashion, champagne, wine, and you're also very big in philanthropy. Can you tell us a little bit about your foundation? Yes. I established a non profit foundation, uh, 501c3, year 2010. Okay. So, when I was a kid, I lost my father. Actually, he took his own life. So I kind of like, you know, grew up, you know, in pain, mm -hmm. not like a literally like in my heart. Mm -hmm. So then when I made it, I wish I, you know, I feel like I could support the kids, children who has unfortunate cause. Yeah. So I was helping, you know, those children here and there, but I decided to do more like my lifetime work. So I established my own foundation in 2010. Then a year later, there's a big earthquake happened in Japan. Mm -hmm. It's a great east earthquake, like a tsunami and everything. So I was like, hmm, maybe I can help those disaster relief as well. So since then I started doing the charity here and there. These days I also support refugees from the war who lost home. Yeah. Um, yes, I've been doing charitable work, philanthropic work for a long time. Wow. Well, as if you don't have enough on your plate, and I don't know how you juggle all the things that you do, you also have some exciting things coming up. Can you tell us about your classical tour? Yes. Uh, can I say I'm in New York? I'm, yeah. I'm, okay. Yes. yes. Uh, right now I'm in New York. I just flown from Tokyo today, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I'm doing uh, my classical tour. Yoshiki, Class Yoshiki Classical World Tour, October 7th, 8th, 9th in Tokyo, October 13th, London, where Albert Hall, October 20th, Dolby Theatre, you know, where Academy Award happened, the October 28th, <laughs> Carnegie Hall, here in New York. Amazing. I'm playing with the orchestra. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations again on Yoshiki Under the Sky. That's such a huge accomplishment, and, and we appreciate you being here and being part of this issue with us. Well, I feel very grateful. Thank you so much for having me.